In 1977, a small human-made spacecraft launched from Earth and entered the sky. That craft was Voyager 1, a probe that would cross planets, moons, and clouds of dust, sending whispers from beyond. Today, it's the farthest object we've ever sent out, still active in deep space. It was a time before smartphones, before the internet, before GPS or smartwatches. The tools used to build Voyager had less technology than a pocket calculator. Still, it flew. And not only did it fly, it survived, soaring beyond planets and stars for nearly five decades. Back then, the mission was meant to last only four years. Voyager was designed to visit just a few gas giants, including Jupiter and Saturn. But what came next rewrote the history of space exploration forever. Voyager 1 showed the red storm of Jupiter up close. It spotted erupting volcanoes on Io, one of Jupiter's moons, spitting fire and smoke. It revealed Saturn's rings not as smooth bands, but as braided loops full of frozen particles. Its twin, Voyager 2, didn't fall behind. It went on to visit Uranus and Neptune, revealing ice moons, magnetic fields, and storms that rolled across the planetary skies like giants at war. These images shocked scientists who had never seen such scenes before. These spacecraft were launched, during a rare alignment of planets. NASA took advantage of this celestial chance, using gravity assists to slingshot from one world to the next. This move saved decades of travel time through the dark cosmic highways. Each new destination added surprises. Triton, Neptune's moon, spewed geysers of ice into the void. Uranus rotated on its side like a spinning ball knocked off balance. Neptune's winds screamed at 1,300 miles per hour, faster than any hurricane on Earth. The discoveries didn't just amaze, they changed what we knew. We realized that distant moons could have active cores. That planets way out past the sun's warmth could still hold weather. And that the border of our solar system was not a wall, but a vast, complicated space. Voyager's journey didn't stop there. It traveled past Pluto, beyond the planets and crossed into interstellar space. This crossing was not like stepping over a fence. It was more like entering a deep fog, full of unknowns. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the area where the sun's influence fades. But instead of sharp changes in magnetic fields, everything stayed oddly calm. Scientists scratched their heads. Was this really interstellar territory, or something else? They had expected a sudden shift. Instead, they got a blurred transition zone, one that seemed to stretch and breathe with time. That zone is shaped by stars, by cosmic dust, and by explosions from long-dead suns. Voyager 1's sensors picked up plasma waves, rising and falling like tides in a strange ocean. But this ocean wasn't peaceful. It was full of pockets, bubbles, dense and empty areas. Some were cold, others hot. Some drifted slowly, others rushed like a solar wind. This plasma field was shaped by ancient supernovas, events that happened millions of years ago. Voyager floated through their leftovers, catching whispers of past stellar deaths and recording their ghostly noise. Even now, Voyager 1 sends back new data. Each signal takes over 22 hours to reach Earth, crossing billions of miles through the cold dark. The power source, a small RTG, slowly fades, but engineers find ways to keep the lights on. They shut down non-essential systems. They rerouted functions. They saved every watt. The probe might survive until 2026, nearly 50 years since its launch. That's not just endurance. That's a technical marvel. 
one tiny device with 69 kilobytes of memory, less than a short email, tells us things about the galaxy that no other craft has seen. Its 20-watt transmitter, no stronger than a fridge bulb, beams knowledge across the universe. And it's not just science. Voyager also carries a golden record, a copper disc covered in sounds and images from Earth. Songs, greetings, laughter, and even a heartbeat, a gift to anyone who might find it. Carl Sagan called it a message in a bottle thrown into the cosmic ocean. He hoped that maybe, one day, someone out there would play it. Maybe they'd know that once, long ago, a small planet tried to say hello. Even now, Voyager continues to teach. In 2023, it detected a low hum in interstellar space, a constant sound scientists hadn't noticed before. Some believe it's caused by a wind made of interstellar particles. Others think it may be something entirely new. Whatever it is, it proves that Voyager's story isn't over. Each discovery opens another door, revealing more about the cosmos than we thought possible. The mission has inspired generations of young scientists and engineers. Some of the people now leading Voyager research once watched the launches as kids, dreaming of rockets and stars. Now they're steering this ship of knowledge, keeping it alive against the odds. Voyager isn't just a machine. It's a symbol of human drive. A floating ambassador of Earth, drifting through the blackness and whispering, we exist. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.